welcome. My name is Quillet. I'm a gospel minister. Thank you so much and God bless you. Please bear in mind that we are serving thousands of people, millions of people out of abusive marriages. So if you come, please share this video. Let it go as far as possible. African tradition is killing a lot of people in marriages. When we talk about tradition in Africa, in terms of marriage, it is causing so much harm. That is the truth. We were all here when you, Idochi, came out to introduce his second wife to the public. And I know you, the son of Mr. Peter Idochi, to be an actor. He is uh, influential. He is known. He's a celebrity. He's even having political ambitions. With all this, it was none of his business. He came to introduce a second wife on the social media. What is giving him so much power? Because of tradition. He is a man and he can marry as much as women as he wants. Was his wife aware? No. I am boldly saying no because she came and made a post that God judged both of you after you posted that video. So this is a very big disrespect to the wife. Because I know that those who marry uh, two, three, four, they inform their first wife before taking another wife. But in this case, it seems the woman was not aware because of the post she made. And this is because of tradition. You are the woman. You have to keep quiet. You must sit down. Women don't talk too much. Tradition in Africa is a spirit. Some are ugly and they must be getting rid of the system. Are you aware of the number of women who are being insane, who are mad because of tradition? You is somebody who is very influential and he, he, he didn't care about whatever will happen because tradition has given him power. He is a man and he can marry as much as he wants. Now, I was talking about Mr. Peter, uh, yeah, Peter Wanchuku who was possessed by demons the other day and I said... Somebody said this. Somebody who knew him in the 90s said he was possessed by demons. Yes. And that, that is the reason why he maltreated his wife. All those things he did, he was possessed by demons. This man was sitting in the church. But the church could not see it. I'm not blaming anybody. But some of the reasons why nobody could see is because of tradition. He is a man... And he can behave in that manner. He is a man. He runs the house. He is a man. He can do whatever he wants to the wife. Now, marriage is not based. The beauty of marriage is not based on tradition. The beauty of marriage is based on God. Somebody will say love. Let me read this thing. First John 4, 8. He says, he who does not love does not know God. For God is love. So the beauty of marriage is based on God because God is love. In God, there is no more treatment. In God, there is no lies. In God, there is no, uh, how do we call it, beating, slapping. There is nothing like that. There is peace of mind, joy, togetherness, empathy, sympathy, love. That is the name of God. So if... This celebrity, you Idochi, who comes out and flourish love all over his wife and children, his first wife, could come out all of a sudden and introduce a second wife. And, and the first wife was so much in pain to write God will judge you both. Just imagine those who are not known, people who are not celebrities, people who don't have money, people who are in, in abusive marriages and they are quiet. And nobody is talking about it. They are dying slowly inside them. They are in pain. They are in bitterness. Just imagine. Just imagine. And out of abusive marriage, a lot of people, so many children, are vagabonds. Criminality here and there. A lot of women are, are, are mad. People are dead. African tradition, giving men power, making women slaves. Please, men, don't come after me today. I'm not speaking in favor of women. I'm speaking 
about the facts. I'm talking about the truth. It is bitter, but that is the truth. Women in Africa are being enslaved because of tradition when it comes to marriage. And this must be getting rid of. We have traditions that are okay. And you know, the most serious uh, of it all is this tradition is creeping into the church. It is creeping into the church. People are there. Men are there misbehaving, maltreating their wives. And we sit there and we say they are the head. Yes, the Bible speaks about a man being a head of a family. That is a duty of a man. The woman is also having her duty. And we must all play our duties. In God, we are all the same. We are all the same. In God, men and women are the same. But we all have our duties to play in marriage. Show respect to each other. Nobody is superior over somebody. That is the truth. And I stand for that. If you, if you watch those audios that I'm getting, they are all women. The audios that are coming, most of them are women. And when the women are going out of the marriages, they have to go with their children. It is only on few occasions that the men are demanding for the children and the children, the women are not allowing the children to go. But most of times, most of these children must go with the women. Four or five children, they follow their mother. And sometimes the men don't visit them again. They don't pay their fees again. They don't give them food again. They leave them. And this woman will be working. How can a single woman take care of four children, five children, three children at a time? People are dying. People are dying. People are in pain in marriages. Abusive marriages. And that is why I'm saying share this video. Follow the page Queen Lit Music on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to our channel on, on, uh, on YouTube. Let this message go far because it is blessing lives. Sometimes I get some of the audios, I sit down, and sometimes I cry. But I, I am assuring you, I'm praying with you. We are praying for you. Our previous video, some of you requested for prayers, and we are praying with you. We are praying for you. Keep on praying for your children. Keep on praying for your, your, your elder children, your little children. Lay hands on them. Pray about them. Speak something better into their future. Because the devil is roaring like a lion. I'm telling you, and some of these things we are seeing, they are not ordinary. They are not ordinary. So if I see people showcasing love, I'm telling, I will talk about that one, one day. Bringing your marriage things on social media. Showing people how your marriage is beautiful. I will talk about that. We are coming from an area in Africa, you know where we are coming from. We are not like other people. That is why we pray, our prayers are different. People keep comparing the white is are we are we like them? Where we are coming from, the traditions, these traditions, and all kinds of beliefs over there, we are not the same. So our prayer is different. Our foods are different. We come from Africa. So those people who showcase their marriages on the social media, I'll come to that. Things are not ordinary like you see. Things are not light like you see. We have to be vigilant and we need to be extra careful. Share this video. Let it go far. So you, Idochi, just introduce a second wife because he has power. Somebody that a lot of people are looking up to. It is none of his business. He doesn't care. He came out one day and just introduced a second wife because of African tradition. Giving men power. Making women slaves. Making men boss and not the head. Men are supposed to be the head and not the boss. Ha! Huh. We shall continue this topic. And in the next video, I'll play some of the audios. You need to be strong. Because if you hear some of the audios, my dear brother, my, my sister, you will cry. You will cry. I pray for you wherever you are. That in, 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 in terms of any marriage into which you are, God should bless that marriage. And redeem you out of abusive marriages. You are blessed. Thank you so much.